Hey guys, Tyler's Wellness back and today what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the second part of Think and Grow Rich, Chapter 1. This is Chapter 1, Part B for us, okay? So in the first part, if you guys haven't yet, go check that out. It's amazing information that we talked about. Thoughts are truly things. We dived into the first part of Chapter 1 of Think and Grow Rich, the story of... Um, uh, the man who thought his way into business with Edison um, and essentially he eventually had a slogan where it said, you know, made by Edison and installed by Barnes, a man who went from broke and, you know, was even called or considered at one time uh, an ordinary tramp by Edison himself, right? So we dived into that in part one. Uh, if you guys have want to go check that out, you're going to learn a lot of great information. The second part here, we're going to dive into uh, the common causes of failure, right? So most com most common cause of failure for people is, well, especially in this, this chapter, first I'm going to dive into explaining uh, what the chapter is here. So this uh, Dr. R. U. Darby, in the chapter, it's titled Three Feet from Gold. And he had found this ravine of gold, this, uh, they, they struck gold at this one point. So then he spent millions of dollars investing and found, you know, people to invest in him to give him the money to buy machinery to start digging. And he started digging and he, you know, he was winning. He had hit gold again and it made him some money. But then, you know, at one point they were digging and digging and digging but no gold was found, right? And so they hit this spot, they hit a bump, and then they dug a little bit longer. That bump step kept happening, right? So this is like a lot of us, right? We start doing something amazing, we, we start catching that momentum, and then we hit a bump, you know, right? And then what they did, he quit. He quit, and then he sold the machinery that he spent millions of dollars to collect <clears throat> for a few mere hundreds of dollars to a junk man. Now this junk man was no ordinary junk man. He actually had enough brains to do this one thing that a lot of us, we don't do before we quit. And if we just did this one thing, most of us would actually become successful, right? This junk man, what he did is he took the couple, you know, all this, you know, machinery that he now acquired millions of dollars worth of value that he got for like $500. And then he suck expert counsel and the expert said, oh, yeah, it's uh, if you dig about three feet over, you will strike the ravine of gold, right? And so the junk man used the machinery, started it up, dug three feet, and then what do you know? Riches. Millions, 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 millions of dollars in gold. And so the story three feet from gold is the fact that R.U. Darby, the first man who found it and invested all this time, money, effort into it, he hit that bump that we all hit. And then he quit just before his breakthrough moment. And now I ask you. You know, what points in your life have you, you know, had success and you felt amazing and then you had a bump, you know, and then it, it felt like it didn't go right, right? So even myself, when I was building my businesses and starting up with this entrepreneurial journey, you know, I started up very strong, strong enough to say, I'm quitting everything, quit all the jobs. And then I had immense success. I had like six months very strong and then it got to the point where it was so successful I started to slack on the quantity and the quality of the service that I was rendering and I learned a lesson quick. You know, I learned that I was like, man, I'm slacking on the things that I'm doing. And if you're slacking on the things you're doing, that's obviously the reason you were producing. So if you're slacking on the production, you're going to slack on what you're literally producing. So you can't consume as much, you know, it's this whole economy of producing and then consuming. You have to produce more than you consume. So if I was consuming at a rate of luxury, but I was producing at a rate of not, not productive, right? Like I wasn't messing up, 
but I just wasn't doing the things that I was doing to produce my success before. You know, once you achieve success, you have to maintain success. So I learned that lesson about six months in. I hit that bump. Now this bump, most people quit. <sighs> I didn't quit. I saw, you know, that I saw the freedom and I was like, man, I taste how good it is. And I see what it is I gotta do. I just simply just take more action. Just do the thing that you did in the beginning to produce the result you did in the beginning, you know? So I just started to do more things and I didn't quit. I was like the junk man who picked back up for a couple hundred dollars, right? What I did was I found a few more audio books. I studied some more. I then applied those new tactics to then get myself out of the, the lack of productivity zone, you know, mindset that I was in. New mindset, new wave of productivity, out of that rut, into a brand new stream. Like now, what's good? now we're good, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm trying to say is, you're gonna have these regardless. You know, even at your, say, nine to five or whatever, your, your, your job you're at now, you're gonna have days where you're feeling amazing and then you're gonna have a customer that made you feel bad. And then you might have another customer that makes you feel bad, but you don't quit your job. You know, you don't quit because you need it. You know, you understand just how powerful it is to have it. So why would you quit? Because of a few bad apples. You understand how good it is when it's good. You know what I'm saying? So like, just because you have a few bad moments, don't quit. Don't be the person that gives up this great opportunity and let someone else jump in your spot, become the junk man, pick up where you left off, and then make great with, you know, what you built up. So again, this lesson that we learned from this chapter is about desire, right? So the junk man, after he, you know, took the riches from this mine, are you Darby? saw the story about this junk man. He was like, man, what? You know, man, I'm all that machinery, the, the money that I invested, uh, I had to pay back every dollar to my investors because it was friends and families who, you know, friends and family who believed in him and he quit. So he still had to pay back every dollar, you know, every penny of it. And so he heard the story about the man who literally dug for three feet he bought all the equipment you spent millions on from you for like 500 bucks and made off with all the riches that you had in mind in the beginning. So think about that. So again, you have a strong desire. If you quit, somebody else will win, right? Your ideas aren't bad ideas. It's just a matter of you're gonna have hiccups, you're gonna have things that happen along your journey, and if you decide that that's it, you decide that that's it. But it's not that your idea was it. And someone else may have been watching you, like, man, I gotta pick up the torch now. You know what I'm saying? And they pick up the torch where you left off, they seek some expert counsel because they had no idea how to how to do this stuff but they felt obligated to do so because you dropped the torch and now they found the information and they're like oh that's it and they did it you see what i mean so your ideas aren't bad you just might need to seek more information you just might need to learn something else you might just need to tweak some things and that's why we go back to my previous video that i made on the four step plan to success and we go to my you know process step number four and that's crazy uh, because this story, desire, relates to step four in my <laughs> four-step plan to success. Because again, being relentless and revising your plan if necessary. You know, you have that goal and your plan that you're executing is going to get you to your goal if you revise it. You know, this hiccup happened, this thing happened, what are we going to do next? So think about that. Um, next video, what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the third part of it. Third part is persist until you win. You guys don't want to miss it. I'm going to record that video here in a moment. Uh, go check it out. And if you guys have not yet, um, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.